Hi everyone. Um, thank you for attending our Dart slash, uh, Dart workshop. Um, I'm going sorry. I'm going to be covering app development. Um, and we're going to be doing this in two parts. We're going to start off with Dart, and we're going to go on to Flutter. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, first off, hello. My name is Varshini. Um, I'm the workshop and I'm oh workshop and communications associate, and I'm one of the co-chairs for the hackathon. Um, so let's get started with that out of the way. So um, the first step is for everyone to please go to dartpad.dev. Um, and I'm going to type up the link in the chat. Sorry. I've uh, typed up the correct link on um, the chat. So please go to that. And when you go to the link, you should see something that looks like this. Um, where you can see this sort of uh, format where you'll see a console where all of your answers um, to your code or like any outputs, sorry, not answers, but any outputs to your code will um, show up. And here where you're typing any and all um, code. If anyone is not uh, done, uh, please let me know. Okay, um, and so, now that that's out of the way, we're going to move on to some of the actual um, concepts of Dart. Um, so the first concept is variables in Dart. So uh, first off, one of the ways of establishing variables is um, var x is equal to hello world. So just saying var, v-a-r, that's um, var in variable, and then you 